what makes me unique, you know? Yeah, your birthday. Yeah, That's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you can call your Uncle Jeff for more words of encouragement. <laughs> he has no idea how this works. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. It's Jeff Shufflebine with the Beatitudes. I'm joined by my co-host, Paul Kolker. Howdy, howdy. And Nick Besner. Hello. Yes, and we're back for the bonus episode with the best guest we've ever had, Kevin <laughs> Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Kevin, I'm just curious, when we're doing those intros, which one of you guys is actually singing in my ear? I can hear one of you. It was me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were all doing it last week, and uh, now I'm just the weirdo. Yep. Nope. Just you. All right, so the Beatitudes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Straight into it here. Uh, the Beatitudes is a twice weekly show. You're just now figuring that out if you're on the bonus episode. But we bring the same guest back, and this is the first time we've ever done what I'm about to tell you because everything's the first time. We actually recorded our episodes with Kevin separately. So we met with Kevin a few weeks back, and he was frantically watching his phone before the show. His wife was due any day. We're going to be having twins any day. And we actually ran out of time that day. So we didn't record the bonus episode. Kevin, did you have the twins? Well, I did not. <laughs> but my wife did. You are well trained. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. They're uh, nice and chunky. They were each uh, seven <laughs> pounds, six ounces. That's yeah. how I like yeah. my babies. Yeah. Which nice, nice and chunky. <laughs> This is nice Fitzpatrick, and this is chunky Fitzpatrick. That was the easiest way to di differentiate, because they are identical. And I'll, I'll tell you, the outside of, uh, I think I texted you guys. I was like, because when I was telling you it happened, I think I said it was a, a heroic labor and delivery, because it was just amazing. Like On uh, your part. Right, yeah. yeah. Way I, to go, Kevin. I, I was, uh, you know having my snacks and uh, doing some self-care. Men and, everywhere uh, was... wanted to make sure that you were okay. <laughs> doing some self-care. <laughs> no, it was it was amazing. My, my wife, Laura, it was just incredible uh, seeing her give birth to our be two beautiful girls. And, uh, it, yeah, it was amazing. They're each seven pounds, six ounces. Really? And that identical? Right. Identical weight and just, I mean, not only the, the labor and delivery, but just like carrying them yeah. for nine months is is insane. Well, what a so. perfect job she did delivering two perfectly sized babies. She didn't like overfeed one or the other exactly. in the womb there. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know how that works. It's a, uh, you should uh, write a book. <laughs> <laughs> They're called I Don't Know How This Works. <laughs> but the one of the most interesting things about them is, you know, they're identical. So they look just alike. And one of them was born with this birthmark on, on her finger. Oh, and we were goodness. like, oh, this is so easy. <laughs> like, like we'd been worried about this for, for months. Like, how are we going to tell them apart? Sharp. Perfect. There's a birthmark. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, three days later, we're like, wait, which one is no. this? Wait, what? And it was gone. Oh no! And so, so now we just now we can tell them apart based off of looks, based but on their was, new names, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. right. <laughs> or the sharpie. <laughs> yeah, but it was a little scary for a minute when we were like, because there's no way to tell. Yeah. They have identical DNA. I'm pretty sure they have the same fingerprints. There's nothing at birth that would like, oh, we could go test their blood. It's just like, hey, whatever. Whatever name you think this one is, that's what they are. Or the Let's rest just see how it goes. Yeah, They're, exactly. And they have the same last name. That doesn't help. No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of uh, of all this, tell us more about the birthday itself. We knew the due date was going to be the, the due date of a of a nine month term pregnancy was going to be the feast day of Saint Joseph, March nineteenth. We recorded on a. Did we record on Saturday. Thursday? Saturday. A Saturday. Yeah, okay, so I think it was that. It was that. Thursday following. Okay. okay. That they well, okay, I I misspoke. I misspoke. I must correct myself. Okay. It was Thursday and Friday. Oh. One was born on Thursday at like eleven thirty something, and the, the following baby was born just after midnight. No so they have separate birthdays. 
you've already figured this out, right? Like, this is going to get really hairy later. <laughs> so they're not identical. <laughs> 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 exactly. Well, this that's one's good. so much older. You can yeah. tell. <laughs> so they'll grow up with their own identity in the sense that they at least have separate birthdays. Yeah, and I was actually really excited about that because I am the the twin thing. I, I'm really interested to learn more about. You know, how do you how do you you know help them not mm. just feel like like there's the cool part of they share this relationship, sure. but then I'm sure there's also a downside of just like what makes me unique, you know? Yeah, your birthday. Yeah, That's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you can call your Uncle Jeff for more words of encouragement. He has no idea how this works. <laughs> well, so it is interesting because um, not that I have a twin, but my sister was born two years and a day after me. So we were both born, so December 28th and then December 29th. She was almost born on my actual birthday, and so we always celebrated our birthdays, like, right around the same time growing up. And, you know, so there was a little bit of that, like, oh, well, you know, am I special? Is she special? You know, like, and so I'm I'm curious to see how that, how that plays out with twins. Yeah. Yeah. We will see. I'll be back once a year to give all of you a report. That are <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I love having you on here. What uh, What's your life been like? You have lots of little kids. If anybody caught the first show, tell us again. What is your kid breakdown right now? So we've we've got our one baby in heaven, and then we've got a three and a half year old, a seventeen month old, and two like two and a half week old twins. So <laughs> so it's pretty easy, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, you smell like it. Yeah, I know. I was <laughs> <laughs> Did you find the deodorant? I di- I did put deodorant on, which nice. I was uh very very Class proud move. of. Yeah. And uh, I brushed my teeth. So I think that's the things are going well is what I'm saying. You're winning. <laughs> the self care. <laughs> self care. And my snacks. <laughs> You're like, babe, I actually have a massage booked today. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm going on the Beatitudes. <laughs> well, well, one of my uh, former colleagues, um, she was telling me about the fir- I think it was the first time she was going to give birth. Her and obviously I'll keep this anonymous, <laughs> but but the first time she was going to give birth, her husband was was uh, heard that she was in labor, and he was like, "All right, I'm on my way to the hospital." I just need to make a stop to get a haircut because there's no way I'm meeting my son without <laughs> looking my best. <laughs> and so he missed it. <laughs> he wow. got a haircut like an idiot and uh, <laughs> and showed up uh, well-groomed <laughs> to his newborn baby. That's incredible. But nobody will know that, and he's got the best hair in all of his pictures. I yeah. know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kevin, I can tell that you're... Uh, you're doing well, but I think you're on the edge of a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> you keep slamming this table. Like, we're all trying to, like, muffle your slams on this. I'm sorry. You know what's I'll that? try to calm down. <laughs> I, I like to you're get... You're aggressive. Uh, well, and, and Jeff does the editing, so really what he's worried about is having to tweak all the sound afterwards. Kevin, Kevin. <laughs> I will keep my hands in a uh, relaxed position, but it's not... <laughs> It's not aggression, it's excitement to be out with uh, other humans. This is and, like a dude's uh, moment. Not uh, <laughs> changing poopy diapers one after the <laughs> other. <laughs> That's Paul slamming his hand down. Uh, you could just tell, though, he has this energy. He's like, oh, yeah. Well, that's incredible. Almost Arnold there. <laughs> well, I say this uh, for you. After this first episode aired on Monday of this same week that this second one is airing, mm-hmm. people are asking what happened with the twins. And I said, tune in on Friday. You'll find out. So any other, <laughs> any advice in two and a half weeks for people who have twins on the way? You have a unique perspective right now. What can they get ready for that they couldn't possibly know? I, I feel completely unqualified to give any advice. Um, I, I think Welcome to manhood. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a wild ride. It's, uh, it's funny. People, people don't understand that don't have twins. They're like, oh, it's just like, you know, going from two to three. And it's like, no, it's not. No. <laughs> I, like, I haven't gone from two to three, but uh, you know, I've only gone from two to four, but like, <laughs> it's 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 nothing like people are like Kevin. There was yeah. that one day, 
at one day when yeah. you had three, and then it turned midnight and you had four. That's true. That's true. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Calendar day. Nice. Calendar day. And it was exactly at that moment that I was like, four is completely different than three. <laughs> I got this. Everything, no, I don't. Everything has changed from 30 minutes ago. <laughs> this isn't so bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But All it right. is it it is awesome. It's uh it's just a unique opportunity to uh, understand things that are not in your control. And like I mean, what I was telling my wife when we found out it was twins, and I think this holds true, is like the only way we're gonna get through this is if just everything is funny. Like we're gonna yeah. we're gonna be late to everything. There's gonna be poop all over everything. Yeah. We're not like you know, it's it's the well, only. Some of that was already there before. Yeah. Exactly. You're just I, enjoying I, it more now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own issues for another podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's not this show, Kevin. <laughs> well, listen, I want to help you out in releasing some of that energy by inviting you in mm. to play the improv game with us that we were part of on the last show. So, uh, as a reminder, Paul is going to read out a character card and a question card. From the bad actors game and my warning is there's things in the regular deck that we don't include in our deck if you end up purchasing this but he's going to read this out and we have to answer the question in the form of the character i'll give us nine seconds on the guitar clock <laughs> i don't know what that means and uh <laughs> paul what do we have today <laughs> all right our character is the overachieving soccer mom <laughs> and what she is encountering is what have you promised yourself you will never do again Everybody's thinking right now. Oh gosh. <laughs> Paul? I feel like we're going to offend a lot of soccer moms. <laughs> yeah. We're going with the mom thing on this show. I'm Let's go. Who's got one? Going deep into a reflective state, looking in the mirror, Karen catches her own eyes and says, "You're better than this. You can't be late for everything." <laughs> <laughs> wow, that got weirdly <laughs> literary there. I can handle just about anything in this minivan, but I sure regret that I didn't have both them babies before midnight. <laughs> that was a spot-on impersonation of someone's <laughs> wife. <clears throat> I will never indip- individually peel orange slices for the soccer team ever again. Citrus. <laughs> My my brain doesn't work. The the only <laughs> the, I was gonna go minivan. The only thing I can think of uh, overachieving soccer mom to never do again is uh, that would not go on the show. Hold on. <laughs> well, we I'll tell you what. Censor we're, ourselves. We're gonna Man. give you a pass. We appreciate your censoring here. If you had to vote on the first round, right there, and don't overthink this, Paul. All right. Yes! Good. Good job, Paul. There it is. I was also gonna make a Karen comment. I liked. I liked that. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Jeff was too much of a man, that, uh, that accent, <laughs> whatever that was. I don't, I don't want to <laughs> comment on that. Uh, this is what you get when you bring in a sleep-deprived father of many, many, many little kids. Yes. Girls. 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 And that was M-A- All girls. M-A-N-Y and then M-I-N-I. Yeah, many, many. Many, many. <laughs> yeah, so um, I do want to give you something to go look up. Did you know, this is true, 10 times a year in the world, on average... Somebody gets pregnant when they're already pregnant, and they deliver on the same day, but gestationally, they're not twins. You can get pregnant while you're pregnant. There's a small window in there. So just try. I, st- I do know some things. <laughs> Wait. Is that a goal, Jeff? Yeah. Or <laughs> at the rate he's going. Sure would, sure would make this go faster. That is crazy. <laughs> I, I have a quota. <laughs> All right, good. Um well, listen, we're wrapping up this bonus episode. You, we gave you a chance to reflect on the first episode. Here you are, Big Daddy Kevin Fitzpatrick, one visit away. Find him on One Visit Away all over the internets. What www. Is- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm, that's what I meant. Um, what is a final reflection from you as we head into the rest of your life after this <laughs> show? <laughs> mm. a, fi- <laughs> a final reflection. I think... As, you know, things big on my mind, especially, you know, as both the girls were born, and I can't remember if I mentioned this last time, but both my grandmothers passed away last, this past year. Just, like, life is out of your control Mm. in many ways, and uh, just attempting to take each day of just, you know, what is God calling me to to today, 
Yep. What is God's will? And choosing to accept that, you know, the good, the bad, the the babies that are here, the babies that aren't, and just, uh, you know, walking through with that perspective with your family is uh, pretty much the only way to get through without it just being, why isn't this happening the way I want it to? And with that, I will slam my fist on That's the table right. in aggression. Kevin, thank you. I do think, like the Beatitudes, life is out of control, and you just got to go with whatever comes, and give thanks to God for the good times, and give it up to God when it's tough. So we're with you in spirit and solidarity, <laughs> but not inside that house. So <laughs> yeah, Good luck. No. So to you, Kevin, and to everybody who's watching and listening, until next time, we'll see you in the Eucharist. God bless.